Now, children, in the previous chapter of expansions, we have studied this identity that a plus b to the whole cube, it will be a cube plus b cube plus 3ab bracket a plus b. So, if we transfer this term to the left hand side, what we'll get? We'll get a plus b to the whole cube minus 3ab bracket a plus b. This is the value of a cube plus b cube. Let's simplify this term to find the identity a cube plus b cube. So, uh, if we take a plus b common from here, what we'll get inside the bracket a plus b to the whole square minus 3ab. Alright. And here a cube plus b cube. Now, let's simplify this bracket. Right. Let's expand this a plus b to the whole square. What we'll get? a square plus b square plus 2ab minus 3ab equals to a cube plus b cube. So the value of a cube plus b cube will be a plus b bracket. If we add these two terms, this would what we'll get? a square plus b square minus ab. Similarly, if we solve a cube minus b cube, the value, so what we'll get? a minus b, a square plus b square plus ab. All right. So we need to remember these formulas, these two formulas, these two identities, which is the sum or difference of two cubes. This is the sum of two cubes, this is the difference of two cubes. To solve the, to factorize the sums of this exercise. All right. Note down this much first. Now let's discuss few sums. Right, first we take simple one. It is written a cube plus 27b cube. So a cube can be written as a to the whole cube. 27b cube can be written as 3b to the whole cube. So this, this is written a to the whole cube plus 3b to the whole cube. We know the identity that a cube plus b cube is a plus b bracket. Bracket a square plus b square minus a b all right so we are going to this use this identity to factorize the sum so now what we'll get a plus 3b bracket bracket open a square plus 3b square it will be 9b square minus when you multiply the a into 3b it will get 3ab all right so this is the factorized form let's see another sum now here it is given that 3x to the power 7y minus 81 x to the power 4 y to the power 4 all right now what we are going to do first we are first we are going to take common we can see that 3 and 81 has common which is 3 we are going to three, take 3 common from these two terms constants x to the power 7 and x to the power 4 what is common x to the power 4 is common from y and y to the power 4 y is common so what is left uh, inside it will be x to the power 3 minus 27 y to the power 3. Alright. So 3x to the power 4y. x to the power 3 we can going to write as x to the whole cube minus 27y to the power 3 can we going to write as 3y to the whole cube. Now 3x to the power 4y bracket. So we, we are going to use the identity that we have studied a cube minus b cube it will be a minus b bracket a cube plus a square plus b square plus a b all right so here the value of a is x and b is 3y so it will be in bracket x minus 3y bracket close bracket open x square plus 9y square plus 3xy so this is the factorized form of this sum. Alright children. Please note down the solution. Let's move to another sum. Suppose it is written to the power 4 minus 3 4 3 a. Now we can clearly see that a is common in both the terms. So let's take a common. It will become a cube minus 3 4 3. This can be written as 8 the whole cube minus 3 4 3 is the cube of 7. We are going to write as 7 cube. A. This is A not 9. 
a cube minus 7 cube it will be factorized that a minus 7 a square plus 49 plus 7a all right see next sum a to the power 6 minus b to the power 6 now in this sum we can we can apply cube formula sum of difference of cube as well as difference of square so remember when we have to we have to opt with both the formulas are applicable then first we are going to first formula that we have studied difference of square so give first priority to difference of a square formula so we are going to solve as a to the power 6 as a cube to the whole square minus b cube to the whole square so when we factorize this term we will get a cube plus b cube and a cube minus minus b cube all right now a cube plus b cube when we solve we know the identity it's a plus b a square plus b square minus a b and a minus b a square plus b square plus a b so we can write this as a plus b a minus b a square plus b square plus a b a square plus b square minus a b or you can say that this is the answer right children please copy let's see another sum we have here as a minus b minus a cube plus b cube so take a minus b inside the bracket and take minus common from these two terms then we'll get a cube minus b cube apply the difference of cubes here formula what we'll get a minus b a square plus b square plus a b now we can see that a minus b in common in both the terms so take a minus b common what we'll get here we'll get 1 minus a square plus b square plus a b open this bracket we'll get a minus b 1 minus a square minus b square minus a b right children let's see another sum in this sum it is written 1079 all right minus 3x cube all right so first we are going to take common 3 from the both term we can see, say that 3 is common so when we take 3 common what is left in this term 3 3 is a 9 3 4 is a 12 3 is a 9 minus x cube we have already simplified this term in the previous term 3 3 4 3 can be written as 3 4 3 is the cube of 7 7 cube minus x to whole cube this will become 3 bracket 7 minus x 49 plus x square plus 7x all right understood kids note down please